Hey YouTube, it's time for a tarot deck review. We're going to be looking at the Mystic Mondays, which is in no way new at all. Um, but uh, I think there was a request for this one. So this deck was surprisingly, has been surprisingly awesome. I reach for it a lot. I especially reach for it for like bigger energies, big life development stuff. Um, yeah, I didn't expect it, but often that happens in tarot, right? Um, so the Mystic Mondays deck, it is subtitled Tarot for the Modern Mystic, and it's by Grace Duong. Um, this deck is, I think, kind of medium priced, and I know there had been a lot of complaints um, with the first printing about um, like chipping or the cards not being right. Um, I don't know all the details. Mine ended up okay, so, um, and I bought it sometime last year, like second half of last year, so I don't know, it might be better now. Um, but this is in a sturdy lidded box um, and it's got some info on the back um, and then when you open it up you've got a little trust your intuition on the inside and just blank here with like some color on the other side um, so it does come with a guidebook it's a little little black book um, and it is in color and there are, they're very small, but there are tiny pictures of the card on each page. So you can see the card if that's something that you like in a guidebook. Um, each card is going to give you, if it's a major, it'll give you an astrological correspondence and either way it will give you, um, upright keywords and on the flip side reverse page, it will give you reverse keywords. And then um, it's actually interesting, like there's a page for all of these for reverse and upright. And so there is a full description of what the card means. Um, reverse is shorter, but in this case it's the same length. So, um, so that's interesting. I tend to do my own thing with reversals, but I, I still find that kind of cool. Cards themselves. So again, like I, your mileage may vary, but um, for me, they're just fine. Um, the cards are glossy. They, this is the back, so they have a kind of silver, like holographic design on them, and they are silver edged. And it's a specific silver that has kind of a like holographic, it's like a rainbow effect. I don't know if it's showing up very well, but um, so the cardstock is decent, um, not super thick, uh, but but sturdy, glossy, um, and they're very bright colors, and apologies, there's gonna be a little bit of glare that I can't help, but, um, so I'm not gonna do a full walkthrough because those are probably everywhere, but I will just show you some of the cards. It's a very, you can see it's kind of a graphic deck. Um, it's, I mean, it is technically pippish, but I, I find it, even though it is technically pippish, like it's kind of like the Wild Unknown in that way, where like some of the cards are, I guess, considered pip cards, but, at the same time, they have more meaning to me than other pip decks. Um, I haven't gone into depth on like trying to, to understand the meaning of color in this deck. There's a lot of color, so I'm sure it has specific meaning. Um, the figures are all sort of, uh, when a person does appear in this deck, they don't have facial features. so. They're very kind of basic, but they're not silhouettes. And I think they are all, let me check. I think they are pretty much all some shade of white or <laughs> from like light blue to a kind of beachy color. So that is a thing to know about this deck. Although, well, actually sometimes they're orange. Um, so you could interpret, I guess, like if you stretch, you could interpret there being like a tiny bit of racial diversity, but not really. Um, and they're all pretty much your typical skinny people, it looks like as well. Um, gender you can't really tell because they are these like kind of simplistic figures. Um, like here's a more pippish example. And so I don't find anything particularly revelatory in the imagery, but for some reason this has just been a really on point deck. 
in all, all my readings it's just been straightforward to the point and gives really good readings so I know you know a person's individual relationship with a deck is individual so you may not have the same experience but take that as you will so yeah that's um, just a little review of the mystic Mondays I'm fairly certain it's still available to purchase and uh, you can check it out if you like it